We do have a health alert to pass along tonight. A North Texas passenger who traveled through Hobby Airport has been diagnosed with the measles. Now the Houston Health Department is launching an investigation. Our Brittany Jeffers live at the airport tonight. Brittany, measles is a highly contagious disease. Yeah, Dominique, and we've been checking in with the health department, and they tell us that that passenger was here for a connecting flight. They say that they didn't spend any time in the restaurants or the shops and had limited time in the waiting area, but even still, they say that person was contagious at the time and later diagnosed with the measles. According to health officials, in the past 16 days, passengers on board four Southwest Airline flights in Texas may have been exposed to the measles. Measles is a highly contagious vaccine preventable virus and it spread through a cough or air. According to the Houston Health Department and Southwest Airlines, the passenger flew on the following flights on Tuesday, August 21st and Wednesday, August 22nd in and out of Houston Hobby Airport. Now, the Houston Health Department is directly contacting passengers on those four flights who might have been exposed to the virus, telling them to monitor for symptoms like rash, cough, or high fever. Man, uh, I couldn't imagine it. Some passengers we spoke with at Hobby Airport say it will weigh on their mind. That would definitely be an added stress for future, you know, future references and other other passengers. That's just the, the, the hazards of traveling. Others say it's a risk you take. Big concerning, but it's kind of potluck. There's a lot of people that travel every day and you never know who's going to be on your flight. In a statement, Southwest Airlines says the company's safety and security groups work with the CDC to reach out to the passengers. Also adding, quote, that the entire fleet is subject to rigorous and regular cleaning programs. Now, we also found out from health officials that passengers might not show their symptoms until September 12th. So they say that if you do believe you are exposed, if you start showing those symptoms, a rash or a high fever, you need to contact your doctor immediately. We're live here at Hobby Airport tonight. I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.